regards to the choices you make. Damn, being rude. Telltale Games presents in association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Yay! Episode one, a new day. Damn, slow down. Lord, they got a black man in cuffs. After black history, my, it's too much. Look at me for. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Mm. Um. Uh. Why do you say why that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Oh, you can move this around? This is pretty. That'd be me. I'll just be looking out. Now aim target at the rearview mirror. Wow. Okay. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. From Macon? Georgia? You're from Macon then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in, with all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Ooh. You wanna know how I see it? Sure. What is going on? Sure. He kinda of fine. Find black men there. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh. <sighs> You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. What is going on? a lot I'm driving this man once he he was the worst one he mm. wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it mm -hmm. he was an older fella big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses mm. and he just wailing back there says it wasn't him crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting officers are available for him coming to one now him turning and it before off. long he <laughs> starts kicking the back of the seat like like hey, a fussy hey, baby on an airplane to... Not tell him he's got a stop. Road. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. Mm. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. Mm. It wasn't me. Mm. So did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Oh, wow. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Yeah. Oh, I got another good one for you. This really? one's a little bit less depressing. Somebody's in a row! Somebody's in a row! Somebody's in a row! So. This other time... <laughs>
Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! My leg! <gasps> Why the heck use the mouse to look around? Find a way out the car. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Okay. Uh, oh, ooh, okay. Uh, 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 let's get up, yeah, let's get up out of here. Uh, Get up out I of there. I need to drag myself out that window. Okay, now move. Oh, oh. I oh. need to drag myself out that window. Ooh. Ooh. We Ooh. still... Ooh. Ooh. Look at his leg. Ooh, he's limping. Where we going? We're going to the body? Oh, we need to go that gun. Wait. Oh, oh, we gotta go. Officer? Hey, man, you, you all right, that pimp? Oh, Lord, this how you move the controls? Okay. God damn. What happened to you? Yes. Get this off of us, homie. Shit. I, you you gotta do better. Get the keys. <gasps> what you scared of? Acting like he somebody catch. Me. What is going on, officer? <laughs> God, he's coming towards me. Oh, where's the hell are you? Man, grab the damn grab the gun. What the fuck are you? Grab this. Just stop. Back up. Shoot this. What you talking about? Shit. Oh Lord Jesus. Grab it, grab it. Don't make me do this! What you mean? That back up. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Who was that? Who? Oh, baby, you gotta get up. Praying, you gotta get up. We gotta go, we gotta go. Yeah, you gotta go. Oh my god, he done tripped. Oh, you know, black people don't trip. What you doing? Shooting. Look at that big one. Oh my god. Hello. Anybody? Um Okay, um... No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. 
Okay, so maybe we need to. What's, what's that? I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Not you trying to get litty, sir. Am I going the wrong way? Help! Or maybe I'm supposed to go this way. There should be a way to get up on now, right? Okay, there goes the stairs. Let's head up them stairs. Let's go. I wonder if anybody's home. Let's let's see, Fran. Let's see. I wonder if anybody's home. Is, is we gonna go? If, are we gonna go through the door? Hello, anybody home? Okay. We need a little help. Pull it. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Like, please don't shoot. Hmm. Ah, shit. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Ooh, this is scary. These people might need more help than I do. Okay. Oh, a unicorn. That's probably where that little girl was at. She's probably here. It's blood on the floor. Oh, Jesus. Oh! oh. I'm so sorry. I ain't think you was going I ain't think he was gonna fall. I'm not gonna lie. We just going through this people's stuff. I mean, we don't know if, if any What was that? You want to say something? Okay, let's go here. Forts. Cup. Was it good? <sighs> What's that beeping? What is that? Oh, I didn't look in the cabinet. What is that? There are three new messages. Oh, that's somebody's um answering machine. What's all in here? Okay, let's just turn around. Let's see what's that beeping. There you go. Three new messages. Message one left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Mm. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Oh, wow. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my God, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Okay. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh, damn. <gasps> oh. Daddy? Huh? What a baby. 
Ivy. Hello? You need to be quiet. Little girl, what the hell? Where's she at? Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Oh, baby, they not coming. She's in that tree house, isn't she? I mean, that's where I would go if I was a kid. How old How are you? How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are, you Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Hmm. Where are you? She's in the treehouse. I'm outside in my treehouse. No way. They can't get in. That's they smart. They can't climb. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. She's so cute. <laughs> so sometimes they come back have you killed one no but they get shot a lot you've been all by yourself through this yeah i want my parents to come home now oh baby i think that might be a little while you know oh look i don't know what happened but i'll look after you until then what should we do now um, look for help before it gets dark or get out of here once the sun I will say look we need to find help before it gets dark yeah it's not safe at night you chose the safety of daylight I damn sure did because why would I not let's go oh stay my close gosh. to me she's so cute Look, girl, you can't be running. You can't be running that fast now, cause I got a bad knee. Uh. 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 Oh, man, people. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. <laughs> this sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. I mean, y'all need y'all need some help. Yeah, open the gate. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. 
I mean, we probably can talk to them too. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Uh, we need help. help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um, you're a babysitter. Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Look at Clem. Come on. Like... Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Oh, we moving to get this out the way. Oh, cause the truck. Okay. Woo! What's this mug? Oh, please get the truck. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Um. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Ooh, don't you do that. Yes. Okay then. Well... Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could, be, Could worse. be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I don't remember. I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. It must be. What type of danger has the girl seen? She's safe now. She's safe now. You're serious about taking care of her then? What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. Mm. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um... 
looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Son Your son's right. right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. A dead cop calling dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. <laughs> well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> Look at Clem in the back. We'll clean it, redress it, and we'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, oh, she don't like that'd him. be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Can we get something to eat? It smells like... Manure. manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. Oh my god. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Damn, you're mm. telling me to get up. So rude. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. Mm -mm. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Okay, just... Just don't say nothing? <laughs> the word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. Mm -hmm. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. He happy? <laughs> I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. Oh, he walking, okay? Let me see that walk, 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 okay? Uh, let's go over here with him. Kenny, I think. Be sure to check in any. Oh, be sure to check in with everyone you met so far. Okay, so. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Kenny. I need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Damn. Do you need any help? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. 
Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Mm. See ya. Okay. No, Kenny got a boat. Look at who? Let's go over here and see what they're doing. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is loving that. <laughs> okay, that's the fence. Sean's still working on that fence. Okay, so... Do you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Okay. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. I'm like they had a dog, too. Uh, I guess go back over here with you, Kenny. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. Uh, how was how did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just... Past people over some just just uh, it's okay it's fine you don't have to say anymore I want to go home tomorrow but even then I can't take away the things we the things Doc went through don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this Who anybody would? in their right mind would families and barbecues and beers with good friends all of those things those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Wow. Okay, so... Maybe... It's a look Seems at like those two are getting along. Maybe I need to continue to talk to him. Hey there. Hey. How's your son doing? Good, I think. katya has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Okay, you showed an interest. Okay, so... What can I do? What am I supposed to be doing? Say, look at tractor. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay. Let's 
Get the curtain. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Yeah? I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. <laughs> I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? We don't even know. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All right. So what else do I need to be doing? And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Oh, so that means I'm going over there to go help him. Y'all get them flies, Lordy. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. What? I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? What? I got a ride. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Why is he... Where are you getting what at? What are you getting at? <laughs> like... Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. What happened? Go! I'll get my gun!
get out. He said get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. What you mean? Thought I could help them both. I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Got that ride to make it if you want it. Stop. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Oh, the car died? Oh, man. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Who should we don't to? know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Kids, like... We have kids with us. I see one little girl. It's a boy. Where's what is... the, where's, where's Doug? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a You're minute. a dumb, careless kid. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God okay. damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an, She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. None of them kids are not bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, what? Stop him. Hey, what do we do about this guy? Yeah, I better jump his ass. Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, Everyone, jump his ass. ass. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down. Well, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> that's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. 
Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does... And if she does The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Yeah, my... No! You don't touch that boy! Okay. You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> Move! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> what the fuck happened to him? What happened to him? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot that motherfucker! Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. We need her, cause uh, she the shooter. Uh, guys? Everybody down, stay quiet! They're gonna get in, shut up! Is that the military? Somebody out there. I don't know. Shoot. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shut the fuck. Uh, uh. He, had to have, he having a heart attack? I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? <laughs> it's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Mm. Okay, we'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Mm. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know, you know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Now she getting mad. I mean, okay. What's this? We ain't got no money. Ain't no point going through there. We need to try to get into the pharmacy. Hair needs. That's an office. Alive inside. Are you gonna go in? Look at Clem. <laughs> I can't. I can't think about them in here. Okay, okay. Um. 
What's this? There's a photo over there. There's a photo over there. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Oh, so they are in making. Um, I don't want to look through that alley. I don't really too much care. Is there anything else? Oh, a bat. Oh, that ain't no bat. What's that? A weapon. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Oh, so that's his... Was he sick? Oh, damn. Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Okay, um, pills. That's what we here for, pills. Uh, okay, what about, I don't want to, I don't want to go look in the alley. We don't need to be in here no more. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Okay. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. Do what do you think? Looking. I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, so let me let me let me try to find to get this medicine. Because I don't really care for him anyway, so a little bit of me is just like I don't really care. Look how he looking. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Mm-hmm. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. Jesus. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Okay. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Okay. Uh... Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm hey, sorry. Parents. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him now. Okay, so we know that was his parents. Dang, that's sad. Now, how do I get in we this office? We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hun. We need to get, okay, snacks here. How do we get to the pharmacy though? The pills are in there. No shit, Fran, I know. 
So we probably have to go into the office. Into this. And then Clem can't climb her little ass. Not much. Let me see. I probably need to. This door leads to the back alley. You might need to. How you doing? Okay. Oh. I'm see. gonna keep looking around. Okay. I need to. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. Okay, so you, you you basically saying, okay, girl, this is what you need to do. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Okay. <clears throat> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Oh. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Um... Uh... Let's just move this thing. Oh, yeah. okay. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, little boo, but it's you, fine. You just gotta move this. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Jeez. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. You didn't know. <laughs> I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Mm. I got into some trouble, and then I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. That was so cute. Ow. What happened? Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. You really want me to find it? Okay, there go one right There's now. a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Let's go. Go back to a little old Clem. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Mm -hmm. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay, um... Is that the door? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Okay. Um, okay, we got a drawer right there. What's in the drawer? Nothing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, man. No! Why would you do that? 
shit. Find anything? Damn. No, nothing. No, nothing. I know who you are. <laughs> You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Hell no. What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. Does that even you matter? You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Mm. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Is she, is she right about that? Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. As if money will have any. Examine full box. What is that? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Help me with the keys. Hmm, nothing. It's dead. Girl, ain't got no there batteries. No batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Girl, forget the batteries. Like, where can I get the key? What is this? Battery? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I haven't talked to Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. I feel like, what Agreed. if the keys are outside? I can tell them I care about And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Where's the keys? I feel like I'm doing something else that I shouldn't be doing. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Oh, 
What? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Damn. Okay, we okay, we gotta do one thing at a time. So can I go back inside? I don't wanna uh I don't wanna do this. <laughs> okay, how about this? Let me see. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. <gasps> well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. Mm, but it's not, not enough. enough. That guy over there has the keys. <gasps> How can you be sure? That's his brother. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and Damn, get Damn, that's his brother. Wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Oh, wow. Oh, I know that hurts. I can't reach that brick. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Oh, wow. So... We need... Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. We need a brick. We need that brick. You can't get I this can't brick. can't reach that brick. Have Doug reached for the damn brick? Um. Let's head back inside. Okay. We might, so what we need to do, we might can use that cane. We might can use that cane to grab that brick. Where is it at? Let's see if we can use that cane. Can we get, can we use this cane? We can't use this cane? What was the point? Cause the brother got the damn. It's taking me this long. I'm embarrassed. So we need something to grab the brick. Not just saying talk to Carly. It's telling me, it's saying you taking too long, girl. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Mm. Um. You ready to head out? You got it. You? 
Yeah. Let's go. Don't let me find uh, let me find out. That's all I had to do. I am struggling. Wait! How did you get out? Get down! <laughs> am I doing this right? Cause why we out how did we get outside? Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. <laughs> Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple mm. almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. <laughs> Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Damn. Oh, these scenes are nasty, baby, because we're we supposed to be walking. Am I just supposed to be looking? Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Peek over the wall. W. Oh, get down. There's one back there trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. some attention. Be careful. Okay, so how can we... I'm scared to open the door. Can't open the door? I do not know. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Like, you ain't letting you see. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. You, can I grab the pillow? Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. You finish shoot. Let's see. So we got this. Oh, I know what we're doing. Okay. I had a slow moment, but we good. The window to bust, uh, use the pillow to bust the window. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, mm -hmm. and none with pillows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? 
Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Okay, so I need to... I'm done trying to punch out windows. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Okay, we found it again somewhere. Whoo! Thank you. Um. Uh, okay. Can we open this door? It's a spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Not over there no more. We still need to try to get this with the spark plug. Let me see the spark plug. Of course, I'm inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Probably that one. My bad. Okay. Let's so let's go. Let's go back over here. All right. All right, you ready? Gonna slide your way over there, huh? I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. Please don't let me have to redo all that. Damn. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got to get with it. Okay. Okay. Let's Okay. 
All right. It's him sliding over. Get him right when he stand up. Okay. Woo. Stab him, please. He looking like damn man. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Yeah. Are you two done? Get that. Two more. That should help. Uh. Okay, why is it. Oh, oh, oh. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Okay. It's him walking up like that. Hey, hit her, hit her, bro. Hit her. Hit her. Rad. Oh, Lord. Hey, girl. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Now you know you got that. You ass. might want to break through that board first. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Do, do. I want the world. You're to hurt. Play. Oh God! I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. <laughs> it's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay. Okay, we'll okay, leave. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. <laughs> you have a gun. You know what? So can I borrow it? No. What do you mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. I'm whoa, just, whoa, whoa! Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. We do. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. Girl, get the hell away! We can away. be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Ooh. <gasps> Whoa! Ah! All that noise. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no, no! Ooh, and it's loud. Mm. 
<laughs> you over there trying to get your meat wet? She's been here. bitten. Now look. Now look. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, so now we can finally do that because we gotta... We got... We got... We got an axe now, so... I wonder if we can use that axe on the door. Yeah. Yep. And that's what we got to do. Yeah. <coughs> that was it, sir. Yeah, that was where the shot keys it is, I guess. So where can I? Clean your ass can't just climb through the vents or something. Trying to find keys. We probably can use it. Let me see. It's another door. Like, is you, like, can you help? Reading cards. I'm gonna walk all around this damn thing. Oh, Doug is the one I need to How are we doing? To. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah. Let's have a look around. Okay. Yeah, because the brother got the keys. Now we back with this scenario. Okay. I can't reach that brick. Well, tell Doug to reach the brick. Awesome. Okay, grab the brick. Okay, now what should I? Throw it hard, man. There you go. Now's the time. Go. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? You 
ain't hitting them hard enough for me. Put his ass to sleep. One more time. I mean, I'll do the same to my siblings. I get a clean cut. There we go. We got the keys. Hallelujah. Holy crap. Run. He saw your ass. <laughs> got the keys. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Dang. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Mm. Girl, you look scared. All right. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Mm-mm. That's scary. Hey love. Ooh. Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Glenn, we need your help, please. Lee, if you don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Oh, thank you, Doug. We'll we make it will through make this. it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. <laughs> Woo! I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! No! Oh, not Doug! Are you sure? Oh, shit! Grab the shooting! Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. The window is screwed. Go. Okay. E I found something. Take it. She the shooter. Run! Run! Uh, 
Fish, you son of a bitch! No! Are you serious? <laughs> Anta, I got the pill. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Dang, my face oily. <laughs> Yo. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta's been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. If citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are urged to be near their radios and await further instructions. Moving to the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, or Orlando may become necessary in order to... Oh, man! Clementine! It was so awesome! Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all places. And then this one time, Derek and Superdash are the same city, but Derek had underwater mega lasers. You never pay attention, will you? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. You know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like I have much to begin with. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage nine I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. Not like we have much to begin with. So he about to leave? I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Mm. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five years. Was he thinking like? Not like we have much to be done. Oh, he gone, honey. He left. Then you had to go and move. Check this out. The Jumatron has this minigun on his shoulder. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Who is, is that that little boy talking? How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. <laughs> well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Not like we have much to begin with. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Damn. 
Clem look like? Please get this boy oh, away man, from me. Oh, man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like, pow, pow, pow. I don't that like that him. super dinosaur was toast. But you know can, what? Can you just he wasn't. Look over there. Oh, Everything and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you, you want to cool it for a minute? Minutes. Okay, sorry. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. I'm like sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got I grabbed again. I, up, I, I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. So Glenn had the other one. And then you had to go mm. and move them. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <laughs> Let me go deal with this. <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. Another thing. Look at Clem. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. She's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... You watch your ass. Not like we have much to begin with. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Girl, no. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. Mm. Not me looking up like I I'm... hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Hmm. You see Clem? Clem said, oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, my God. Next time on The Walking Dead? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve Who us out. Who was that laying down? I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening! <laughs> no more, please! No more, please! Please, please! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>